the oldest rivalry in the NFL on the first Sunday night of the year. It's the coach. This is week one of the NFL on EA Sports. It started in 1921. And now, 97 years later, it's edition number 197 of the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers. I'll see you at halftime with a look back at some games from earlier today. But now we head to Lambeau. Standing by, Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. And we come to you from one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We all know this community lives for its Packers, and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago, and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with the Chicago Bears. After the interception, here's Trubisky. Completion left side to Miller. And down inside the 15 he goes. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. That last completion gets him six. Trubisky to throw again. And this is going to be incomplete. Play action for Howard. Now Trubisky. He's got a man complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. On first down, they run with Howard. And now the juke. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Another nice intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. Rush coming in. He's taken down. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well. Now Trubisky on third and long. And that is incomplete. Kevin King, the former Washington Husky, there defensively. Teams that really elevated with coaching changes. The Eagles, the defending Super Bowl champions. The Los Angeles Rams last year. I think that can happen here in Chicago as well because of the structure they'll put in place for this quarterback. Now a play fake here on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Burton. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Coverage there. Man coverage. Knocked out with a way. Real name, Hashan. He's from down in your neck of the woods in Orlando. Yeah, went to Dr. Phillips High School and then matriculated at the University of Alabama and played at a super high level at both places and is doing the exact same thing now. Out of the gun, Trubisky. Mitchell Trubisky's first touchdown pass of his sophomore campaign. does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half maybe not so much in the second half and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later now it's Trubisky and this is going to be incomplete
are some of the new rules in the NFL this year regarding kickoffs. Yeah, nowadays, the kickoff team, no more running starts. Remember that when you, could, you got to circle a guy around, and here he goes? No more. You have to... Here's Trubisky to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Burton. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34. Down the hole in the zone. Made sure the quarterback saw him. And was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. He rifles one that's intercepted. Kentrell Bryce picks it. And the return will stop right around the 25. the inning, the interception, but they did put together Charles a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Mike Daniels in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I'm it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes. On third down, Trubisky, he sets to fire deep. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Kevin King with a pick, and this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never wanted to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really... They'll try to run for it with Howard. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Going deep this time from... And this will be caught at the 30. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. More yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Flushed out right. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the... Under wraps. On that play, they held him to a short game. Throwing here, Trubisky. This will be caught just inside the 10. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Trubisky. Throw left side complete. It's Sims. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Burton. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. There, if you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second. That's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Jordan Howard already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. A big game. I mean, you don't get there by yourself. That's rare. But how about the ability to see the proper holes? pick the proper place to go and find his way into the end zone. Now a stoppage, and oh boy, we've got Trubisky shaking up on the play.
finding the hole in the defense and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the opener, and it's a first down. A lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. And that is incomplete. Second and ten, Daniel. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Cohen. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat. They fake the give. Daniel. The catch made by Miller. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Daniel now to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Burton. He'll be stopped short of the 25. The nice move couldn't free him. That throw good for four. It's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. No more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. And that will be incomplete as well. Very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be. And got his man complete. A gain of 39 that time. First down now, but that clock rolling. And he'll spike it with 16 seconds remaining. Reminds me of a young Charles Davis when he was playing mad. Absolutely. Oh, wow. I thought you were going on the field, but okay, I see you. Now I should run by him, but in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. You had the fly over the big American flag out there before the game, all the hoopla, just having football back, so special. It is an opening day, opening game. There's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo. But the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while. Opening game here, an entire season, we get into the playoffs, to the Super Bowl. I was really excited. I could barely sleep last night. I can't imagine being a player. So for Green Bay, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 as they win by a touchdown. And they'll get to stay home again next week as the Minnesota Vikings come to town.